Hmm, I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. trade to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Flowers have a watery liquid inside called nectar that many animals like to eat. Put something from the tray into the habitat. Flowers have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Let's look around. Oh, wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm, leaf cutter ant. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Snail. Bark centipede. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Oak tree hopper. These are larva, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. I notice a ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? Two-striped grasshopper. Praying mantis nymph. This is a nymph, or a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. The praying mantis has a very flexible neck and can turn its head all the way around to look behind. Oak tree hopper. Two-striped grasshopper. Grasshoppers get around by jumping and flying. I wonder what other ways bugs can move around.
This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph, but now it has wings. The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. The mantis has five eyes. It has two large eyes and three smaller eyes. It can see very well. Let's keep exploring. Monarch caterpillar. Swallowtail caterpillar. Caterpillars change into butterflies. Hmm, I wonder what color this butterfly will be. This swallowtail caterpillar is bright green with yellow spots on its back. Jacket wasp. Wasps live in groups called colonies. Monarch caterpillar. Honeybee. are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. The monarch caterpillar we added changed into this orange and black butterfly. Interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a small bird that flaps its wings very fast. It can fly around from spot to spot very quickly. American Robin, Loggerhead Shrike. Sometimes the robin bird hops along the ground looking for its food. We finished our habitat. I love nature.